So, um, with regards to not having any technology know-how, what you lack in technology know-how, you adopt as a craft that almost embodies what the record industry should be. So from one person, you are able to attract people to music, you're able to sell it, able to put the gigs on in the shop, make them want to go and buy the record. You play the right music for the right people who walk into the shop. Hopefully. So you're your own marketing, you're your own PR, you're your own... God, you're making me sound like Superwoman. You know, a and R. No. The shop is run on a love, wing and a prayer. And I, the power of the angels and you're one of them. <laughs> well, I believe if every uh, record company in the world had a Maz on the throne, I think the music industry would be sorted. Wish bless you, I'll take that as a compliment. Go me Lamar with the story. <laughs> Maz on the throne, that's a great line for a song. <laughs> Should be. <laughs> We'll give you a day. We'll give you a day. Thanks, a day to find out what you it's like it. It. to be on the rock face, so to speak. Is it cliff face? Cliff face. Thank you. I, was the I have, the I edge have of the worked abyss. here. You didn't. I did. Oh, I did. We've I all worked at the shop. Paul, when Pauline was working here, I would have relieved her for an hour or two, definitely. She didn't tell you that. Yes, I did. I remember Miles, promise me none of this is going in, okay? Well, you know that, I right? Can't make that promise. Who's Roshi? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. <coughs> Mythical character. <laughs> Lumiere, Falter over Stock, Lumiere. Great to have you. Mass. And what song are we singing today? We're going to sing uh, a song, a song called, called The Streets of Derry. My 
guys, we put on our own um, podcast, uh, our own yoke, their piece, or whoever's the sound engineer, the record book. What's done? What's done? Um, you, um, should, you should tell me these pro, things. I'm pro. I'm pro. I'm pro. I'm pro. I started playing in flaherties with my father, Lord Mercy, and so, and my sister, Lord Mercy, and so, and I was about 12 and a half or 13, and I'm now 61, and I'm still playing in flaherties, and I love playing. Welcome back our good friends, Avril Bowler and Lawrence Courtney, who I have known since the sun started shining, and John, your own good self, Baron Claire. Uh, who's kind of slightly hiding over there in the corner. Would you like to come in a small bit with, towards us? You're grand over Doing the there. finest now, thank you. Oh, you're grand one. <laughs> I look forward to the day in the shop, Le Humor Day, that the world will see a, um, a CD or a record from Avril. God bless her, she's brilliant in the box. And as for Lawrence Courtney, I have grey hair from Eskimo. Right, Lawrence? <laughs> 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 No day, you're using this good. You can throw a mirror now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're wearing a copy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Try to keep the brains in. <laughs> collecting records long before the shop was open. I adored the Johnsons. They were great influence on myself when I was growing up. And um, Paul Brady actually played with them. Yeah. Have you ever played with Paul Brady? No. No. Not yet. <laughs> admire from afar. Yeah, I'd love them to record in here in yeah. the shop. It would be great. So I'm not sure if I should be saying this, but there is the secret record shop. <laughs> Maybe. Up in the house. Wow. Yeah, the, the guest room, the single guest room. Now, there happens to be a bed. <laughs> it was, nothing on the walls. It is now, like, covered with records. Because yeah. I originally started as a record shop, yeah. and then it went to cassette, and then went to C uh, CD, and now DVDs. It was never a DVD shop, and I there's two two something and Blu-rays or something. Yeah. They mean nothing to me. I don't yeah. know what they mean. They'll yeah. go away from me, like... I'm chasing a check for this fucking hotel. So, yeah, I've got a check somewhere for a play music. I'm determined to find well, it. Maz, are you the record industry in Dingle? Am I the record industry in Dingle? Miles O'Reilly, what does that mean? Go on, you tell me. I don't know, just, that's a strange question to ask me. Well? Well? What's the record industry like in Dingle? What's the record industry like in the world? Uh, it seems pretty terrible. Yeah. Yeah. I promote as much as possible yeah. local musicians and independent musicians, and that, I feel, is the role of the shop. Like, it's, you know, with the sessions in the shop, yeah. it's like a... Because the shop is so small, it's, what is it, 12 feet by 11? And I, I hope I, I hope it is a stage for musicians and singers and songwriters. And I've now started recording Peter, people with poetry. Yeah. And God only really knows what else is going to happen. Yeah, you know, anything. Exactly. It's kind of, oh, and there's the Bell Orchestra yeah. once again. So, <laughs> it often features in our podcast. <laughs> so you have shelves here, five, six shelves with 
uh, local musicians and friends. And their friends are our friends. And their friends are our, our friends. friends. Yeah, as the six degrees of separation, you know, that saying, it actually, I honestly believe it's two degrees in the shop, it really is. Yes, we're all, yeah, we're all still from, yeah, from West Kerry. That's fine, just to be a rock. You know how to, you know, and just in case anything is. Miles, I hope you're not taping any of this, okay? <laughs> <laughs> this is the good stuff. What? You've already introduced him. I haven't. We've said nothing. That's <laughs> amazing. Yeah, we, we, we're starting out to start, Miles, okay? I'm Paul. I'm Patrick. I'm Dan. Evan. I'm Sarah. Known as walking on cars, and let us not forget Ben Moyer too. <laughs> Bless him. Who recorded? Who recorded the first so oh sessions of the shop in his other life, and he's ready not to talk to me. In my more. other life. Yes. And in this it was shop, a good I life. Mean, yeah. It was a good life. Yeah, and still is yeah. you. He's my cousin. <laughs> 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 do is a real craft Maz, and, and do, do you feel that, like that's appreciated by people um, do you know Miles I'm I think it is because a lot of people come in you know especially like since we started the sessions in the shop and you know the acorn turns into the oak tree people come in and they they look around and say is this the place where the sessions are recording I go yeah mm. this is this is the place and they can't believe it you know mm. and um, I genuinely care what people would like to buy, and if they do want to buy it, the world doesn't finish, you know. No. And I'm not going to change the world or the record industry, no way, it's just I'm like here, my little cunha. I 
have one of my most favorite people in the world in, in as a Ispa Shilta, uh, my grandchild Ida, fall through the stock. <laughs> right, Gwent. And um, Ida and I are going to sing a song that Maz wrote and it's called As I Stand on This Land. And the chorus part is Sirsha Nadina, which means freedom of people or freedom for all people or freedom for everyone. Sirsha Nadina, Sirsha. Um, well, it's a 15 minute ish documentary, but I told why that could be 18 really dingy style. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Do not put that on camera. <clears throat> promise? No, I can't, I can't make that promise. I didn't even know you were there. Um, 